up, you guys. Look at my thin, poor hair. I'm so sad. I took my dreads out. And this is what we got. Anyways, this video is not about my hair. We are gonna make something out of wood. It's something kind of cute. Something that I think you could make even out of an old cupboard if you had um, an old cupboard door. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be cute. It's gonna be this right here. We'll put it up right here. And uh, let's get into it. Oh, hold on, the governor is live. I gotta go watch that. So the governor wasn't saying anything awesome, like normal. Just stay home, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, so what you wanna do is find your materials. You can use an old cupboard door. You could probably use, the lighting isn't very good. You could probably use an old picture frame. These are some picture frames that I picked up for a penny. Uh, they would probably do pretty good for something like that. Uh, but I'm gonna make mine out of wood. And so you just wanna find your material. Now, if you don't already have this stuff laying around like I do, you can also order this stuff online. You can get craft wood or craft boards that, you know, can be this size. Also, Menards um, has a program or an online program that you can order stuff online and then you can drive up and pick it up uh, so you don't have to go in to the store at all. So that's a really good deal too. Uh, so let me find some material that we're gonna use and I'll show you how we're going to measure it out. Okay, you guys. Uh, so this is the board that I'm gonna use. Um, of course, when someone sends me a picture of, a, of what they want, I'm not gonna make it exactly like that. I'm gonna make it my own version. And so, that's what we're gonna do here. We do need to make sure that these things are going to stack beside each other nicely. That would be, I would say, one of the more important things of this project. Now, every project that I, I put up here for you guys, tweak it to make it your own. You can do whatever colors you want, whatever size you want. Um, anyways, so I think having the measuring cups this far apart probably make it look nice. You guys see here, just like that. And then you'll have the measuring spoons down here as well. And then up here, it's gonna have that conversion chart uh, that we'll, I'll, put, I'll put down here in the screen somewhere so you guys can see it. And I think that is a nice, um, space for all of these things. So then we are going to make our lines. We're not really going to measure. Uh, well, maybe we should because we should have these. Um, we should have these spaced the same space apart. You know, you know what? I, I'm really guilty about um, just eyeballing my stuff and <laughs> not measuring it because I was super bad at math. Here, let's take this with me and we'll go get my. Square. I was super bad at math, and I don't know, like, it's like speaking a foreign language in my brain. Okay. Back around here, like this. So obviously this will be, you guys even see? Ta-da! This will be the bottom of our thing. So this will have plenty of room for these to hang as well. Like this. We're gonna measure with our thing. We don't have very much room here. I would, let's put it on right here. Let's make it over here. This thing I like to use for this purpose because if you don't like a ruler doesn't guarantee you have a straight edge I mean straight yes but not even if that makes sense so I like to have this thing here but chances are you're probably gonna be working with a pre-cut piece of wood so you might not even have to mess with stuff like that we're gonna go there Okay, 
I really think this is a good space for these things. It'll also have a little lip on it. I'm gonna put a little frame on this when we're done. So I think it'll look nice. The frame is optional too. You don't need to do that step. Um, I just think, I don't know, I think putting frames on things makes makes it look um, a bit more put together. So, wow. How do I take this we got a new tripod, so it should be much easier. We're gonna eat this Samsa. Is that what this is called? This is called a hands bar. And that's what we're gonna want. He's not, he's not helping. Can you see? So here, I'm just taking my piece of lap. You don't have to do this step. You can just use the flat board if you want, but I wanted to make it look really similar to um, the inspiration photo. So I'm just putting this little decorative piece across. I'm just marking right here with the pencil, then to the saw. You could use a staple gun because this is a soft wood. And like I said, your stuff is gonna probably be a little bit different than mine. Uh, you can put it together however you need to put it together. I understand that some of you might not have these tools. Uh, you might have some of these in your garage, your husband or your boyfriend. show you guys the secret sauce and it is this mod podge it's the secret okay are you ready let's watch okay so with this we are going to be using um some vinyl and paint we're going to be using both vinyl and paint and if your project was just one or the other you would still want to use mod podge mod podge is really cheap you can still get this on amazon right now i will put a link to order um, down below in the description. This is just something if you are doing any DIY things at home uh, You just really really need this. I mean, it's just good stuff. I also like the mat. They have several different um, Formulas they have like a mat they have like a gloss uh, They have an outdoor this is just the one that I really prefer and this holds up well outside too as long as it's not in um you know, pouring down rain or snow all the time. If it's on a porch or something like that, it does really well. So, I'm just gonna go like this. This dries really quick. You don't need a whole bunch 
to for what we're using it for right now um, because we just are using it as a barrier between our wood and our um, paint and our vinyl we want it to prevent any bleeding from from our paint we also don't want to get your hair stuck in it because that's not awesome. I swear every project that I make has at least one dog hair in it. No lies. Okay, like this. So it's gonna prevent your paint from bleeding. It's also going to give your vinyl a nice seal against your wood. If you put a sticky, but just think of a sticker, even though our vinyl is much stickier, much, much more um, strong than a regular sticker, it's still the same concept uh, long term. If you are putting a sticker on a piece of wood, you know, a rough piece of wood from out in the garage, the chances of that sticker coming off are pretty great over time. Maybe not right away, but most definitely at some point. This is why you shouldn't get cheap brushes. Sometimes I let Jake pick stuff up or order stuff. Um, and if you get cheap brushes, first of all, we've only used this once and it's already ripping um, right here where the pad underneath this is and it's already flaking off pieces of the sponge, which you absolutely don't want. You know, if we were creating a sign that was all white, we would be spending forever picking out these little pieces of um, sponge. You 100% don't want those on your stuff. So, if you're going to use sponge brushes, which I do recommend, uh, you need to get a higher quality sponge brush. Okay, so this is just me pulling up the inspiration photo and making um, the vinyl cutouts that we're going to use, like the stickers that we're going to use to create um our project. So I'm basically going back and forth between the inspiration picture that was sent to me and the computer program that I'm using is the Cricut Design Space. I have a Cricut machine right behind my laptop you can see right there. And so I just make everything in here and put it together and then I cut it with the machine and then I lay it on the project and just stick it down just like this. So I transferred it with a clear piece. There's um, other videos I've made to show you how to do that part. It's basically like a big sticker, that's it. That's the concept. Um, so I stuck it all down. Now I'm peeling up the transfer sheet. And so here I've got just one row that I am going to show you in the beginning. Well, maybe, I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, I'm making sure they're pressed down. So we're gonna use the Mod Podge again. We're gonna go over the stickers that we put down. This part is very important. You have to do this part. This will prevent your paint from bleeding when you put on your black paint because you know the inspiration photo has a black background so we're gonna make this a black background. Everything that's black right now is gonna be white. It's just kind of like a reverse sticker method. So you can see right here in the first column I've already done the first row and here's how you do it. You just take your paint this is after your Mod Podge has dried. You go over it. Now you can you can swipe if, if you want. Swipe, swipe, swipe. You know, like traditional paintbrush strokes. But um, you can see those strokes uh, in your paint, and I don't like it, the streaks of, of your brush stroke. So I like to do dab, 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 dab. It takes longer, you need some patience, but it looks better. So then, after you do that, don't let your paint dry. Uh, you're gonna peel up your stickers, and then it's going to reveal the white part of the paint that the sticker was over. And there's no bleeds or very little bleeds uh, from your black paint because you use that Mod Podge to seal it. Here, here I'm just showing you that uh, you want to work in small sections when you're doing these because um, you want to peel up your vinyl uh, before your paint dries. If your paint dries, you could potentially peel up your paint with your vinyl and then it's a big mess. And so here I put the nails in, we've got the painting all done. This is the frame. These are just one by twos. This is my favorite brand of stain that I like to use. If you don't have stain, you can use brown paint mixed with water or whatever color paint mixed with water. And so I just have the one by twos and I cut them how I want them to be. I'm going to use my nail gun to tack them together. So let's do that real fast.
Here's the finished project right here. I think it turned out really nice. Uh, the person that has this probably will have stainless or black measuring cups. These are just the ones that I had to use to measure with as a guide. Here's a picture of the inspiration in mind. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Find me on all these platforms down below in the description. And uh, give this video a like. Thank you so much. Goodbye.